Subscript and the superscript. Okay, uh, so without any further ado, let's get dive into our screen. We'll see what exactly is this superscript and subscript. So, as you can see on my screen, that uh, we have a small presentation of subscript and superscript. Okay, so uh, I'll try to explain in very easy way. We have this uh, certain value, let's just say x. We we have an imaginary baseline over here okay so anything written next to this x above baseline in smaller font is your superscript okay think in this analogy that superman flies above normal human being right so it is superman over here it is superscript and the vice versa who is below the baseline that's the subscript okay uh, that's the basic representation of any superscript or subscript value around the world okay uh, now we are going to talk about uh, that where we find these use cases right of the superscript and subscript uh, right in front we can think about two of the industries where uh, this is used one is the medical industry where you will see that you know from the in the pathology center where you go for some kind of tests right they collect your blood sample and then uh, they keep in that small test tube kind of thing okay they level it out so they're depending on the what kind of sample it, if it is some kind of you know solid or if it is some uh, liquid okay so they have to weigh it you know write it down so it uh, it is represented properly let's say 10 ml right that ml goes in small font and the 10 is a little bit little, little bit big okay and then uh, in the chemical industries where they store certain chemicals uh, let's just say some uh, acid we'll take an example the sulfuric acid h h and the below 2 s o and then again 4 right so these are the some of the industries uh, we can think right think of it that okay uh, uh, the use of subscript can be used over there right or it is actually used being over there right so we will see that in zpl how we gonna achieve this okay so let's get back to our screen right and okay before we go to level early i just want you to say that uh, we are at 636 37 subscribers so thank you for that okay thank you for you know subscribing my channel and, and i hope that this video will help uh, some other people and they will consider uh, liking the video and subscribing to my channel okay so now let's get back to our lovely level uh, site okay and we'll start see how we, we are going to achieve this okay we'll take an example of a little bit easier one let's just say h h2 our water right and uh, let's get started okay so first one is our of course the opening tag and the closing tag without this zpl doesn't understand okay what's the starting and the ending of the labor for this kind of information you can watch my previous uh, zpl videos you will uh, you will see that we have explained what are the opening tags and closing tags okay now then we have field origin okay we'll tell from where, where to start so 100 100 we'll say okay and then we'll uh, give the value okay field data h2 o okay and then the field separator if i draw this something came up but since it is uh, not visible we are going to play with the font so that it's visible for us we're going to use a at the right normal notation then we have the uh, height we'll give 30 and then we'll give the width as well as 30. now when i hit free draw you'll see that now it is much better we are able to see the h2o right so we're going to make use of this okay uh, so to achieve that what we're going to do is we are going to copy all this three line okay copy this okay paste it twice okay and then keep everything uh, in every field data right this ft right keep each element i mean the, keep each alphabet or the value which represents this whole h2o okay so first we're gonna take h over here and in this we are gonna keep the o uh, two get rid of h and o and over here we're gonna get rid of the h2 and we'll have just o okay now when i hit redraw you will see that everything has just collapsed into one right we're gonna use this okay our uh, zpl make it expand and then make that to cover it 
the below that's another super going away right climb high top um okay now so where were you we, okay so here it is now everything has been collapsed right so we gotta make use of our uh, field origin values that uh, can be used to expand it to the original what we saw earlier right h2o so what we'll say that okay we'll give this as 30 okay and we'll give this as 50 so that okay it looks much better and we'll make a little bit more space for o and 2 okay we are back to square one uh, h2o it's look it looks much better right now we're gonna make this two a little bit smaller so that uh, it follows the exact representation of chemical formula of water h then below small two and then o right so for that we what we gotta do is we gotta play with the fonts okay so it's 30 30 what we'll do we'll make this as 20 20 okay make this as 20 20 So as you can see this font has been changed but it went light little above so that is the case of superscript okay so that's how you gotta play with the uh, fonts right which will help you to get the uh, this kind of representation but in this scenario we want to in the below right so that's what you gotta do uh, so it has gone up so you gotta bring this down so as you know that since we are going down this has to be played around the y coordinate right and for the uh, two this is our the coordinates for h these are the coordinates so what you gotta do we gotta make this little down let's see what does that if i do if i give that as 20 perfect right and we'll make the o come a little bit more closer okay this looks much better this is h2o h2o and this concludes the uh, subscript part right below the baseline uh, in this small river it is uh, printed then it's the uh, subscript now we gotta use the same thing and achieve the superscript right and it's very easy if you see right now uh, it is going to be very easy okay so you gotta get rid of this uh, you know three parameters and um, three uh, data we get it now we are just with uh, this two value right h2 all you gotta do is make it little bit up this value so that it becomes a superscript from subscript right uh, to make it look more you know uh, authentic i'm just going to use x so that you know x to the square it looks much more good in subscript right as superscript right uh, so if i redraw right now it is going to be same thing retro x2 uh, we just need to play with the uh, i mean the field coordinates so that field origin coordinates so, so that this can go up right as we know that this uh, this particular value which uh, which is responsible for going up and down is nothing but your y coordinate so for this two this is the y coordinates right we gotta play with this so if I, if i place 100 i think it will go into the uh, straight you know kind of over here this is close but i think we can do it much better so rather than doing 100 right let's go for 90. this looks much better now we have a proper uh, superscript as well so this concludes our today's video hope you will like uh, the content or the explanation if you if you really like this content and you want me to you know uh, help you understand other uh, uh, ZPL commands and all which can help you design much more better level uh, Please, you know, just write it down in my comment section and I'll see where I can pick it up and you know, help you guys with that And that's all for now. Thank you so much. Please consider liking my channel and subscribe